uh, Cal Kestis looking his bestest. Hey, I beat you to it this time. Wearing a poncho. poncho. Like a honcho. Oh, look, they have a, a cave troll. Remember that? They have a cave troll. Grave troll? Steal. A grave troll. Oh. Broncho's back, everybody. I'm oh, back. <laughs> yeah, Broncho. I don't think I be doing this yet. Broncho had the force troll. The force flu? The force flu. Oh, well, force flu. A true. My midichlorians weakened. You bless. <laughs> you God bless. Mm. Any Star Wars news you can catch us up on, Brad Show? No. No? Well. That's been Brad Show with a Star Wars update. Not much happening this think? week, but we'll be back the next time that we have some news. You can be certain. How about we talk about well, there was the, that the Facebook, thing. The, that uh, big thing. There was uh, a thing yesterday that came out of John Boyega when he was like. Yeah, that's what we should talk about. That's what we should talk about. Yeah. When he did the I still want a job in Hollywood response where he was like what'd you think of the previous two movies he's like force awakens you know they're, they're some good stuff to work off a of. bit iffy yeah and well no that is like last jedi was a bit iffy which was the i still want a job version of of yeah that sucked but he's got to take a page out of Werner herzog's like commit to yeah <laughs> like like just say what you mean yeah don't be a coward. Oh, don't be a coward, John Poyeka. Don't be a coward. Hug the puppet. Hug the puppet. It will not. It will not hurt you. It will show you the way. It will show you love and compassion. This is the way, John Poyeka. <laughs> Do you not know this is the way? <coughs> it was that. That was that was pretty funny. Yeah, it was. But like, it's true. I mean, I don't know how many people really can defend the last jedi oh I, there's some Ryan people Johnson. there's some people i know that straight love that fucking movie i'm like why i don't but like uh, i don't get it i mean I personally it's, it's don't fine get to it. like what you like but it, i'd like to know like what know. about it they like a whole lot yeah they they basically tarnished everything that was set up in the first one, like it The Force just, Awakens. It was That's just what, bad storytelling. I think, I think we like, said this last time, or not last time, but the last time I was here. You know, um, last recording session I was here, where it was like, it's cool to, like, if you want to subvert something, don't do it in the middle of a series. Uh, I know. Yeah. Start doing that. When, when the first one was so, like, just like, this is just plainly... Just aping everything Star Wars to make it feel like Star Wars. First one was safe. Yeah. And then... Second one was like, let's go crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> there's got to be middle ground here. It can't just... You can't just go zero to a hundred. Like I know. That. There has to be somewhat of a, uh, was... a rampant expansion there. Just a, like or, a gradual... I mean, at least make the continuation of the story feel like it makes sense. Right. Yeah. Because it, it, it does feel very jarring. Not even like none of this makes sense. I can't see how they got here. It's more of like, I don't see where they go from here. Like uh, we, we talked about the first and second act don't equal a third. It just is like separate anthology stories. I almost. just feel, I just feel like I don't know the characters at all. Yeah. You know, like, yep. and introducing new ones like Rose, like, and <coughs> the commander pink hair. <coughs> yeah. Just to kill her right away. Just to kill her. Um, or was well, it's she, like, was she really needed? If, if you have one, really if you have one character you want to have shrouded in mystery, like Ray, cool. But like Poe, his backstory, from what I know, he's a hothead. Well, he's it, nothing in the movie is. He had a comic series, which I think kind of did that, but nobody, nobody would, nobody would know that. Take the time to really care. And Finn, we have no fucking idea either. He was a soldier. Apparently, we're going to get his backstory in this movie. <gasps> his secret origin in this. Oh, great. But Who's, like, wait, better other, late than never, I guess. What, what non-introduced character Jedi did we look? Oh, I guess Yoda. A, maybe Not backstory. Yeah. Was there a character that was not introduced in Jedi that we learned more backstory from in the original trilogy? <laughs> no. Yeah. We pretty yeah. much knew everything. Got that out by of the end of the movie. Everything we needed to know, at least. Yeah. The ah. the biggest the biggest reveal was I am your father, and that that was, was Empire. That was Empire, yeah. But Jedi, I mean, I guess we didn't get more backstory. It was just no. seeing like who Anakin was for yeah. a moment for a little. There was the revelation of Leia. Moment. Like that wasn't really explicitly said in the Empire. Yeah, like, but we kind of that was just it though. You know, that I'll wasn't give you that. 
Because when she was like, I, I remember my mother and et cetera. That's Leia. true. Leia's my sister. But like you're like, wow, what? I, okay. But <laughs> pretty confident. at the same time, we knew everything about who she was, who as, she a was as a person yes. by that point. I completely agree. Outside of the she was his sister. You're my sister. Yeah, she, that's Leia. second to like who because she actually is. Didn't play into her life at all until no. that point, right? It didn't even after she was a fucking baby. It didn't afterwards oh, either. Babe. Like <sighs> nothing about it really connected even in the the last Jedi. Like why wouldn't Leia and Luke kind of like make up for lost time and just that? like live together and like hang out and right. be close to each other? Which 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 is is um implied, I get like not implied, but they basically okay. told us I'm outside of it way, folks. I'm sorry. that Leia was trained by Luke initially and then stopped and had the kid and then you know all that shit it's all implied but it's all stuff yeah we're either gonna find out or hear more about in this movie or was just something that people said outside of it or it's like you even as as like reviled as the prequel trilogy is to some people we at least knew those fuckers Right? Yeah, we got to know I, I everybody's really archetype. Feel like I know Qui Gon more than I know a lot of the characters in Most, the new trilogy. No, Qui Gon more than I know Poe and fucking Finn. Finn. Same. And Ray too. Yeah. We've only followed her the most in this journey. That's why I well, feel like I know the her fact more than that the they others. they redacted everything that they set up, kind of takes away a lot of Ray's agency. Like you just in the Force Awakens, she just innately knows things, knows how to do things because she heard about them. She was never trained. She just, <coughs> she knows how to do the mind trick. She knows how to fly a, a, a ship, even though she doesn't fly ships. She only flies the well, fudgesicle. we don't know that. We did up until that point, like in the intro, like well, all she was, did was ride a speeder. But, but her lifestyle, Anakin, like being a Anakin, junker, Anakin, though, is, flew yeah. that fighter without ever flying a proper ship before. And same thing for, like, even a pod racer. We'd never seen him in, I don't know. Well, but I, what I'm saying with, with, with But like, they Anakin, set that up better, I would say. They well, set yeah. up Anakin's in, intuition with the force better than Ray's intuition yeah. because Ray's just like, oh, yeah. I heard this could I could do this, so I'm doing this and I did it. We just yeah, we don't know. There was nothing to lead us to believe that you she will had let the me force out of these Ray. restraints because a lot of it, a lot of it might have just been instinctual, right? Some of the lighter stuff because that wasn't like the heavy duty force powers that she just could just use. No, but right? she could she lighter. could hold her own against a force user that's been training. She did pull pretty early, and that has seemed to be something that. Other people have struggled with, maybe. I mean, Luke took a while to like get comfortable even holding a lightsaber, and she's like, "Sure, I'm gonna fight right. this bad guy." Right. Do you think if, if that's like if Luke went up against <coughs> Vader in the first? At movie, the same time, she we don't know how much she fought on Jakku. I I can. She admit, did have that bow staff thing. Yeah, yeah, I can fight. I can. Like, she buy can the fight. You know what I mean, that. like as as loose as it is, like there's things you could used to explain certain things right and, like because she grew up as like a junker quote-unquote kind of a person and well she she was on a speeder at one point too so you know she knows her way around I, machines I, and stuff yeah like i could buy her knowing how to fly ships in general because it seems like it's pretty one-to-one for in that world where like you can fly one ship you can fly them all <laughs> it's a lot of them luke flew Luke flew. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> X-Wing. When he'd Is that only, what you had? You had the Luke flu? He only Yeah. Had the Luke <laughs> um, when he'd only flown that whatever the fuck thing that he talks about for a second in the first movie. T-16. Or... Yeah. Yeah, Wombra. Whatever yeah. the hell. But so still, like, Luke still had his struggles. That's uh, the, c- the comparison with Ray and Luke is that Luke struggled harder than Ray did at all in the first movie. But they're also positioning her to be stronger in the Force than Luke is, though. To what end? It, huh? does, it doesn't mean anything um, if there's uh, no if there's no struggle with the being pulled to the dark side like Luke was. Like she's just innately like I'm never going to the dark side. There's right. there's none of that yet. No, but in in Empire, there no, was that. She has no personal ties to anything, really. No, and that's what they fucked up in the <laughs> second movie. They're, oh, no, no, Eric. They, you just haven't <laughs> learned her personal ties yet. That's what they're going to teach us. Well, yes. And... <laughs> yes. It's, they should have had uh, that in the second movie, in the, the Last Jedi. They should have taken the time to, like, do the Yoda and Luke situation where Luke went into the cave and found out, like, the dark side is in you. Like, yeah. they were telling you, like, oh, Luke. 
Instead you have to fight your inner demons. Presumably Kylo doing this in the new movie. And we don't even know. Well, There's so many edits of this movie, I have no idea what right. to believe. Assumedly, from, from the trailer and stuff, we've heard Kylo... Like, that, that Ray with the wonky double lightsaber thing is, is a vision like a dark basically vision. his vader vision that's kind of late in the game to really start doing this to your character yeah. there should already be but like a, that, a pull to that's the dark. why those because they they had they had the opportunity in the second movie to do this that's why i'm saying if they're gonna <clears throat> rehash the first movie like they did a new hope like it's basically beat for beat new hope they should do something similar to that like they did in empire like you you have Last to Jedi. You have to, I mean, if even if you liked Last Jedi, you have to admit it makes it hard, harder for whoever's coming into the third one to salvage or to make a proper trilogy out what of it. Did, mm -hmm. What did he expect the next movie to be at the end of Last he Jedi? Basically, like the end of Last Jedi, last shot is the kid pulling a broom. broom it yeah. feels like the end of the trilogy. Kind and it's of like, thing, wait, like... you're ending this now? Is this the end of the whole thing? Like, what? What? Right. You killed Snoke, that's the bad guy? Okay, everything's done? What What does this mean now? What? They, uh, like, he essentially sabotaged the trilogy, right? In a lot of people's eyes, yeah. He sabotaged it. I saw, actually, before I came in here... I would rather I just have him like just a... make that a separate thing without any of the characters that tied it to the main canon. Right. <laughs> I get, I get like, little news update thingies every once in a while on my phone. And the headline, I didn't, I didn't even bother to read it, I just swiped it away but was the headline was the last jedi didn't ruin star wars it saved it and i was like not even gonna entertain it <laughs> not even gonna entertain that article <laughs> nope sorry it's, it's a lot of um different age groups favorite star wars it is yeah because sure. I, don't... I don't get it yeah. that's cool like i said i had a like i said i had a friend on facebook the other night um i had posted the article about john boyega saying whatever and then he was he's uh, right i mean john boy is yeah. right i'm on john boyega's side here and my, my, my friend was just like i just don't get it i just I, like i i loved that movie and i was like i he was like but i also tend to love second movies and series that people don't and one that i agreed with him on was age of ultron a lot of people don't like that movie i do i thought it was better than the first avengers movie because it yeah. actually had a goddamn story to it but i like home alone too Right, but I like all just because Tim Curry goes, "Do bundle up." It's awfully cold outside, <laughs> and he like he quivers his lip because he got slapped. And like, <laughs> right, but he was just like he was just like, I, yeah, I just don't get it. Like I loved it and whatever, and um, you God know, Father. and I, I was like, that's cool. Like I'm not trying to like shit on you. Like art is subjective, you know. It's everybody likes different things. Art's that's cool. Subjective. I just don't agree at all. Like, a lot of people hated Age of Ultron, but they liked Avengers the first one. Yeah. Would you would you say that you like the first Avengers over Age of Ultron? No. You like Age of Ultron over the yes. first Avengers? Okay. Yes, one hundred. Is that what he's saying? Is like he liked Last Jedi over the Force Awakens? He liked the Force Awakens a lot. Oh. And he liked uh, uh, Last Jedi even more. Okay. Um. But he was he was just using that as an example of I tend to like second installments that get kind of shit on by other people. Whoa! It's very rare. Oh my god, I'm fine. Yeah. But okay, you wow. It just it. <laughs> You'll he, see. He Tyler. Was, his main thing was just saying like he had a lot of fun with it and like a bunch of stuff like that. And I was just like, but for me, it's just like I stated pretty much things I've been saying here where it didn't feel like we really know anybody. You can and, have a, a good time with the spectacle, like the end yeah. of Game of Thrones. Like, you can't deny that it was all spectacle in the last right. season. It was just event, action, event, action. There's no time for kind of like character resolution. Right. There was hardly any of that. It was like, <clears throat> and like, here it is. Story stuff didn't quite click with me with it. And like, that was funny too. It, it, the John Boyega thing too. He was like, it was something you were struggling with, and him and Hamill actually like had conversations about it. Oh, on set because totally he vocal about it. He's yeah, like, he wasn't a fan either, because that's not how he saw Luke going, and most of us didn't see that either. It's like, oh, oh my God, my my uh, nephew's turning dark. I better kill him. Right. That's that what like, Jedi's do, right? That doesn't. Yeah, it's not Luke. <laughs> that's not. Uh, but setting it, that up kind of late. A in the lot game of it seems Luke. to be like people who don't have the strong 
connection oh, well, with okay my lightsaber did not with the original movies then. you know which again fine i don't but like for me how does this t- how does the last jedi and the rise of skywalker end the skywalker saga it's all that's just we it it's basically see. the the, yeah, I mean, because they, they, of the last dead. jedi they're all dead. because of the last jedi <laughs> it set up a a thing where where jj is going to have to do a bunch of a bunch of fixing essentially that's inherently going to make this movie weaker because he's going to spend so much time undoing a lot of last jedi stuff or having to address and explain it <laughs> thus weakening this movie like it's just yeah it's it's a bad situation for any director yeah. and Di- and disney knows it like that's just that's the thing too is disney won't say it publicly jj has gotten close to saying it but like that they they thought it was a poor move too and uh just give ryan his own trilogy and just leave like he is he does have his own he should have just stuck with that and not even done the last jedi that's what right. i'm saying right because that all that all those concepts in the last jedi seemed cool to implement in a three-part movie or series of its own like spend time on that casino planet just hanging out there yeah. not just a one scene where they rescue animals right because I didn't know that was a big part of the the First Order's major plan was to enslave animals. I don't that's know. Not, we don't no, know shit not, about... That wasn't the thing. We don't know shit about the First Order. It was... We just know that they're there. We don't know We don't know like how they came to rise to power, really. Yeah. And why we, wouldn't we they don't blow know, up that casino planet in the first place? We don't know the, <laughs> the stretch of their power. Like, is it Empire level? Or is it like less than or like what I, like i don't know it's remnants of the the main like the empire it's yeah. just the fallout of that and they're just but we don't, getting more culty we don't we don't know enough is what i'm saying is what they didn't set any well they set up a lot of cool concepts in the first See, one and then ryan's like hey how about these other cool concepts there's a lot of things that they address in books and comics which is cool but they shouldn't be things that are central to understanding the series, right? Yeah, that's like it's 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 stuff that either adds additional flavor to be like, oh, this person went through this that we didn't previously know about, so now <laughs> why couldn't that this add a, something to it? But why like, couldn't you just explain this in the movie? Yeah, somewhere it shouldn't be at the cost of the movies, right? Yeah, because then know. you're just watching the movie for the spectacle in the event of it, right? And it's it's to quote Martin Scorsese, theme park movie, right? Yeah, and then like, and it's 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 slowly become that where like, over time since Last Jedi has come out, uh, our buddy Matt pointed this out, where it was like slowly but surely you had the people like at first just hardcore defending it, and then the, then over time they start kind of conceding like yeah. And then you have more people now being like, yeah, that was a good movie. Like, it, it's one of those things where they just kind of stood up for it instinctively right away because of whatever. And especially with the, what do you throw the, the lumping everybody who, who says it's bad into the, like, the stupid part of the Star Wars fandom that, that is all like, this just... you're not progressive enough. Yeah, like, the, <laughs> like yeah, the, the stupid part of the fandom that's just like, raise a girl, she's a fucking blah, 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 Mary Sue shit. Like, the, you know, the, the vocal minority of shitty misogynist nerds. But when you, cause, and then it, so that it but allowed you can't them deny, to basically you can't shut deny... down anybody with valid criticisms of right. the movie. I mean, right? Mary Sue's exist in movies that aren't don't already have a pre-established like backstory of like the, the world and how things work in that world. Yeah. Like if, if Ray, if her character was put in a movie separate of star Wars, she would be called a Mary Sue in star Wars. There's things in the world that you have to subscribe to. Like you have to subscribe to this, the force idea. You have to subscribe to it's in space. It's a fantasy. Like, I get that she can do all these things because of the pre-established lore of this series, 
but she would be a Mary Sue if this wasn't a Star Wars thing. And because uh, she just does can, stuff. You can make Mary Sue's work too, by the way. Yeah, and they're not they're not it's wrong. Not, it's, it's, just, it's not a, it's not meant to be necessarily like a derogatory like like oh blah 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 Mary Sue like you could make Mary, Wolverine's a pretty big Mary Sue. Let's be honest here. A Gary Stew. A Gary Stew, yeah. <laughs> like he's I mean, the only thing like cuz he's he's basically just like like oh cool, I'm hurt. I'm I back. can heal. I, I can I'm heal. great. And then his healing factor depending on who writes him changes. So some people have him knocked out for a while, others are just like instant. Mm -hmm. Like then you'll have the nerds they'll be like, "But he was alive for a really long time." <laughs> And he did a bunch of stuff, and I was like, "Yeah, that came later. Like that was something." But that still, was he he later. goes through hardships, and he goes through like you know struggles, and he sees his friends die, and like I don't see Ray ever like. Uh, right. Their own, her only connection was was the the Han Solo in the first movie. Right. Like when he dies, she's like, "Well, yeah, that, ah! that comes with her being a loner, right?" And but she's already still, experienced. Like, she had a more, most of her life has she been had a more graphic. Most of her life reaction has, than Chewie. Right. Chewie's just like. <laughs> um, most of her life has been hardships, right? It's been her on her own in the desert, Not having to fend her family, for herself, yeah. right? Having no one to help her, whatever. So, and then having no connections with anybody. And these are her first connections. I don't dislike well, people Ray. People around her keep dying. Luke well, right. keeps. Luke died. She barely Han knew Solo him. Solo died. Barely knew him. Barely knew Han Solo. Yeah. Barely knew Luke. Barely knew Leia. She's gonna die. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, barely knew Lando. Lando might die in that other who edit. Knows? That he yeah. dies. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> like Chewie might die. I don't know. Nia Nub might die. Nia Nub. No. <laughs> um, and we're gonna die I in the next I... episode. How about that? Uh oh. Oh boy. We'll be right back. Hold on to that thought, Broadshow, because okay. I know you want to talk more. <laughs> 